Hello, everybody. Happy Mardi Gras. And welcome to Universal Studios Florida. Be sure to say hi in the chat if you're watching. Hello, James. Hi, Manny. Hi, Eric. Queen Mother, William. How is everybody doing tonight, today, this afternoon? Hello, Sebastian. I'm so excited for tonight, you guys. This is gonna be my first time streaming at Universal Mardi Gras. We're gonna watch the parade. We're gonna hang out. I'm gonna show you the new DreamWorks land over here. Hey, Liberty Ninja. And we're gonna have a fun time over in Universal Studios. Hello. Hey, Doug. Be sure to smash that like button on your way in, everyone. Right down below, just give it a like. Hi, Sean. Hi, Eden. I am ready for a fun night. Hey, Mark. We're here from Universal Studios, Florida. Taylor Swift's fan page. Hi, Samantha. So, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. I'm Crystal and I'm ready for a fun day at Universal Mardi Gras. As you can see, I have my Mardi Gras shirt on. I got a, some beads already and we're gonna have a really fun night here. We're gonna walk around the park. We're gonna watch the Mardi Gras parade and just have fun. So I'm inviting you to come along with us. So be sure to say hi in the chat if you're here and I just want to say thank you to all my channel members you guys are the best channel members you have new emojis new Mardi Gras emojis so be sure to use them in the chat today while we're enjoying the Mardi Gras parade so it'll be fun uh, I worked hard on those emojis <clears throat> hi Frank hi Jersey Mike hi Andrew um, we're not going to be on a Mardi Gras float tonight. We did that last night, but tonight we will be enjoying the parade and catching some beads. We'll be dancing. We'll be having fun. Hey, Michelle. Oh, yay. You booked a trip. Yes, Manny. Love those channel member emojis. Thank you so much to my moderators as well. Hey, Jeremy. So we're going to stroll around Universal. I know it's early, but that is because the park closes at 6 p.m. tonight. So it's so early you guys um that's why we're alive earlier today but it's still gonna be a fun time as you can see there's the woody woodpeckers kid zone flags still waving in the air um but kid zone is closed we're right outside of the new dreamworks land so we're gonna check out some of that construction right now hey coaster mom yeah, it's they close it super early, so that's why we're here early now and we're streaming, but we're still gonna have a good time. That's okay. The parade starts at 5.15. So be sure to give the stream a like if you can. Love the emojis, Penelope Pit Stop. So here is the site of the new DreamWorks land. I wanted to start the stream over here tonight to show you some of the construction updates because there's a lot of construction updates. Like there, look at the Shrek Swamp now. It looks so good. Who is excited for DreamWorks land? I know I am. I love Shrek. Here you could see the troller coaster. They added a big spider web up on the top. So that's gonna be fun. It's actually the same exact coaster as the Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse coaster, but they're just gonna retheme it to Trolls. As you can see, they're already working on that retheme. And we can kind of see like Shrek's outhouse right here and the big spider up, DreamWorks land. So this is gonna be really, really exciting when this opens, hopefully later, sometime later this year. We'll get a little closer look, even though you can't see much. Looks like they put up some tents or something like this over here too. Hey, Ed. Hey, here for a moment. And I do believe that they are going to move the entrance to E.T.'s Adventure over to the Hollywood section of the park because look how close it is to Shrek Swamp. It is just way too close and E.T. kind of gets blocked by Shrek Swamp. 
it just doesn't fit here anymore. So I think they're going to move the entrance over to the Hollywood area. So there it is. Shrek Swamp, it's looking so good. The park is a little busy tonight because of, of course, the Mardi Gras parade, but we can see here a little bit. So fun, so exciting. Can't wait for that. Thank you so much for liking the stream. I appreciate it. I know it's a little early in the night, in the day, so I appreciate everyone for being here. It really means so much for you to be here. Um, so I do have somebody to share with you. If y'all want to say hi to our friends, the Zooter Loopers, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on, Zooter Loopers? So we just had a really fun day at Volcano Bay together. And, um, and they followed me here. You know, I can't get rid of them. So. We got nothing to do. And Crystal has... Go ahead. Crystal has an amazing Volcano Bay video yes. coming up. Yes. I'm excited for it. So, no, I'm just kidding. I love the Zooter Loopers. Penelope or someone, if you can link them um, in their YouTube channel, be sure to go check them out. They're such a fun time. They're always down to do anything. So I appreciate it. Like we just had a full day of Volcano Bay and they're like, let's go on the Velocicoaster. Like they're That's they're how crazy. we want to end tonight. Yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah, I, I know yeah. it is with you guys. We were at yeah, SeaWorld we'll, we'll together and we had a full day at SeaWorld, like park open, park closed. And they were like, do you want to go to Busch Gardens Tampa right now? And I was like, we were battling um, between Busch Gardens or Epcot. <laughs> yeah, yes. I was like, I mean, it's like two hours away and then they would have to drive me back to Orlando, but they were going to do it. We almost had you too. We would have made it. No, I know. We could do it again tonight. Okay, sure. <laughs> the offer's up. I mean, the park closes at six. Yeah, we can make it. I don't know. There's traffic. <laughs> Well, thanks guys for, yes. uh, for being the best. Appreciate it. Love it. And be sure to check out the Zooter Loopers. We're gonna enjoy the Mardi Gras parade for the first time tonight too, right? Mm -hmm. Woo. Looking forward to it. Yes. So we're gonna, we're gonna walk and just hang out. If you guys want to join, feel free. Um, James asked if we're going to Los Angeles anytime soon. Don't have plans to, but would love to. Yes, thank you, Penelope, for linking the Zooter Loopers on YouTube. Appreciate it. Oh, you're arriving tomorrow. I'll be there for 14 days. That's awesome. Hope you have fun. Oh, look. So this right here is... Ah, this is the Mardi Gras parade. So all these people are going to be on floats tonight. How fun is this? And they are walking to the floats right now. They're going to go backstage. They're going to go backstage right back there get on the float oh thank you so much Aaron Aaron said hello finally get to buy you a coffee or a donut again thank you for your super chat Aaron you guys it means hey <laughs> have fun you guys it means so much and it it keeps me going it keeps me doing this it keeps me making videos and live streaming so thank you aaron and thank you so much to jeremy jeremy said you're my favorite theme park vlogger great work i appreciate you jeremy thank you you guys are the best so mardi gras parade they're getting ready and it's gonna be a fun night so we're gonna continue on here and they're getting the uh the mardi gras floats we had so much fun last night be sure to check out and wait for my uh my mardi gras parade float riding video i'll have that up on the crystal palace as soon as i can um i'm not sure when it'll be up <laughs> but i will have it up as soon as i possibly can so stay tuned hit the hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell Coaster Mom, I know. Coaster Mom said, I still don't believe this is actually you right now. It's too sunny, LOL. I literally said as I was packing up to go, like, should I bring the U word? <laughs> oh, Zoomers is here. Hello, Zoomers. Oh, Raj, thank you so much. Raj sent a five pound super chat. Nice work, love your streams. Thank you, guys. Like I said, this, it helps me, uh, helps out so much with all of this content creating so i i greatly appreciate it thank you appreciate you 
The Velocicoaster was about a 90 minute wait before. But I know it's nice and sunny. No rain, you guys. I I can't believe it myself, but it is true. It is true. So the Central Park area is blocked off. I guess it's because of the parade. Oh, hey, Pete. Pete said, go on Harry Potter, LOL. I heard Hagrid's was a 60 minute wait before. Penelope pit stop. Penelope, a great moderator, said, grab yourself a snack, you deserve it. Thank you so much, Penelope. And Manny, you guys, you guys are too generous. Manny said, thanks for the stream. Thank you, Manny. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate you. Yeah, so it usually does rain when we're live streaming, but not tonight. Not tonight. We're getting lucky tonight. I'll show you this uh, Mardi Gras food booth. Because I actually haven't checked this one out yet. This is Mexico. What do they have here? So we tried a few things from Mardi Gras yesterday. Hey, Nicole. So here's what they have here. Oh, I was gonna get this, maybe. That looks pretty good. Ooh, a margarita. Would you get anything from here? Oh, and they have churros. Yum. Uh, that looks good. I would get the churro in that, honestly. Thank you all for being here. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button. It helps out so much. So, what is this? What is this? Group. I'm not sure. What's going on here? So this is where the parade starts. You can see people lined up already. Hey, Philip. You see people starting to line up. The parade will be starting in about 15 minutes. This is where it starts and ends. So it'll come out here, go all the way down and around. You got, I got everyone lined up. All right, we're gonna get a spot. I know, I think I know where I wanna stand. This is also the Universal Orlando annual pass holder um, viewing section. So if you're a pass holder, you get your own viewing section. Hi, Anthony and Lauren. Look at all these people lined up. I feel like I'm in the parade. I was last night though. But pretty cool. I don't know. I had a lot of fun throwing beads. I smacked so many people in the head, you guys. Hey! <laughs> I smacked so many people in the head throwing beads last night. I didn't mean to, but it happened. And I feel bad about it. But it was so much fun. So I do have a whole video on tips and tricks for Mardi Gras and I explained pretty much everything about how to ride a float, but there's three different ways you can get on one. Last night we had an annual pass reservation for last night that we booked in January. So that's why we were able to do it. But you can also do the float ride and dine, which includes like dinner and uh, you a guaranteed spot on the float. You can also get a virtual queue if you're lucky, but the app is sometimes so wonky that You know Oh traveling foodie warriors you guys you guys are too generous Said for braving the plunge at Volcano Bay. Thank you so much. That, that's, that's too much. Thank you um, So yeah guys, I went to Volcano Bay for the very first time today so if I sound a little tired, it's because we were out in the sun all day. I did get I did get some color, I'll say. Um, but that was my very first time at Volcano Bay. I'll have that video out soon. But we had a lot of fun. Oh my! Some of the slides that I did were crazy, you guys. There was one slide at Volcano Bay I did. It was 120 feet slide, foot slide. It was like a 70 degree angle, and it was insane. So you're gonna have to see my reaction because it's really funny. Hey Marcel, has anyone in the chat been to Volcano Bay? Let me know in the comments if you have. So after, the, um, we're gonna watch the parade for a little bit. After we might happen to Diagon Alley, 
if you want to stick around and hang out with us. Oh, Manny, again, Manny, what? That's, that's too much, Manny. Thank you so much. Guys, I have the best channel members and moderators ever. Michelle's looking forward to getting a jacket potato. Yum. So I do want to stand around here for the parade, but it doesn't look too busy right now, so that's good. We could check out the Bloody Mary booth. Becca's never been to Volcano Bay. Lewis said it never been there last summer. It rains. Ed said best water park in Orlando. I had so much fun. And yeah, that, so that was the first. Oh, they have an event over here. What's going on? Let's see. Yes, Becca, we're definitely gonna go into Diagon Alley, so be sure to stay tuned. What is this? What's going on? What's going on here tonight? Wait, this is so interesting. I wonder if this is like they're gonna do a premiere of the water show. I don't know. Cause that is kind of the viewing for the water show. Hmm, I'm curious. What's going on? They have a bunch of tables, some event. Oh, that's probably why the park is closing so early too. We're putting all the pieces together, folks. Something's happening tonight. Something is brewing. What is it? Maybe it's just like a, um, a corporate event. They rented out the park. That could be it. That's probably it, honestly. Sometimes if they have conferences, Do I look tan at all from Volcano Bay? I got a little, see? Woo! Christy, thank you so much, Christy. Christy said, hi, Crystal, thanks for the live. Love your channel, you're awesome. Christy, you're the best, thank you so much. So, Christy, you can, uh, that will help me buy some, <laughs> buy some aloe for my little burn I got here. Appreciate you, thank you. No, actually, tomorrow, guys, it's very exciting. I am going to Epcot because it is the opening of Flower and Garden Festival. So I'm so excited to try a bunch of different food and hang out in Epcot. It'll be great. Thank you, names. Thanks, Christy, appreciate it. So, uh, so tomorrow will be super fun. Definitely follow along on my stories and everything like that for a good time. Michelle's going to Volcano Bay in October. Nice, I bet you that's a really nice time to go. Pete. Oh, Pete, you did not have to do that, Pete, at all. Thank you so much. He said, enjoy your time there. Thank you, Pete. And take care of yourself. Hey, Jean. Oh, happy anniversary. Yes, thank you so much, Pete. It's too much. Um, I would love to go to Universal or Disney in Japan. Absolutely. Be sure to check out Theme Park Today on Instagram because one of our... Um, how do I say like co-workers owners is going to be going to Japan this week actually so we're gonna be posting a lot of Tokyo Disneyland content and I'm so excited for it I'll share some on my Instagram stories too no anyone could go on a Mardi Gras float here which is pretty cool so everyone um, put some well wishes in the chat for Joey Palace because Joey Palace will be taking a test for work this weekend so he probably won't be in the chat too much tonight he's studying so just send him good vibes because because then i get to go out to a fun dinner <laughs> so we need the good vibes for joey palace um hey michael japan is definitely on my bucket list for sure hey sam lo sam lo will you be in epcot tomorrow here's the bloody mary who likes bloody mary's I personally am not a fan of Bloody Marys, but I know Jean. Oh, Zoomers, what the heck, you guys? You guys are gonna make me cry. You're too generous tonight. Zoomers said, keep doing your thing. Thank you so much, Zoomers. I appreciate you. Thank you, Christy, for the well wishes. Appreciate it. So yeah, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a Bloody Mary fan, but Yeah, no, no. Oh, I smell it. I smell it. I like the souvenir cups. They're fun. If you get a souvenir cup, you can get discounts on the refills. So, for example, you purchase the souvenir cup, you pay $19.50, and then if you want to refill it, you'll pay $15.50. I don't want that. 
Yeah, people do love Bloody Marys. Joey Palace has had that Bloody Mary from Mardi Gras here. I want to know what's going on over here. It's definitely a conference thing, I think. But there's purple tablecloth. So what does that mean? That's kind of like Mardi Gras theme, no? Alcohol is extremely expensive in the parks. Hey, let's go Helio. Hey, Steven from the UK. Hey, roller coasters are us. What's up everyone? Thanks for being here. Be sure to give the stream a like if you haven't already. I appreciate you all so much. I'm so excited to share these videos, you guys. I feel like I, uh, I'm getting a lot of great videos this trip, so I can't wait to share them on the Crystal Palace very soon. So be sure to stay tuned for those fun videos coming out. All right, we got about 10 minutes till the parade starts and the look at, like I said before, the parade will start right down there and it'll come up this way. So 5.15, it goes out here, but by the time it gets to here, it'll be, it'll be a little bit. I know, Ed. Ed said, I'm shocked you have never been to Volcano Bay yet. I, that was my first time at a water park in 13 years. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it took a lot for me to go to get, finally get to a water park, but I know I wanted to, been wanting to go to Volcano Bay. It just never really worked out. The last water park I went to was Typhoon Lagoon. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Hi, Jabberwock. Uh, no, Joseph, Universal does not pay me. However, I do give them a lot of publicity. <laughs> Here's another Mardi Gras booth. Oh, I kind of wanted to try this out. This buco juice. I might get it sometime this week. I don't know. It looks a little questionable, but I heard it's good. Coconut water. Hey, Michael. Hey, Brian's here. It's behind me somewhere. Um, buco juice, coconut water, coconut milk, coconut cream. I don't know. It seems kind of fun. Oh, it's 19 degrees in Minnesota today? Oh, no. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll get that. Meh, maybe. We'll see. And here's this Mardi Gras booth. It's fun. Very fun. Let's go see Jaws. Here's Jaws. You gotta get a picture of Jaws when you're here at Universal. Yep, we had such a fun day at Volcano Bay. It was great. It was such a good time. So, here's Jaws. And this bar, you can get like that famous ocean attack, shark attack drink. Right here. That's good. I had the beignets yesterday and they were delicious by the way. So if you are wondering about the Mardi Gras beignets, they're pretty fire. I won't lie. These restrooms have been under construction for like over a month. I wonder what's going on in there. It's been a while. All right, so we'll check out this booth and then we'll head back to try to catch some beads. Who wants to get some beads? I know I do. I only have one bead on, so I gotta get some more. Oh, this drink looks pretty good too. This butterfly pea blossom tea. Eh, I actually don't really like gin, so. Oh, traveling foodie warriors. I know I really want another baked Alaska. If I have time, I'm definitely going. Uh, that looks pretty good. Right? Yeah. And the lines for the uh, food booths aren't too bad tonight. So it's, I guess it's not that crowded, but people are also lined up for the parade. So if you're here and the Mardi Gras parade is going on and you watched it already or you're not interested in watching it, this is a great time to go on rides because the wait times will go down around the park for the rides because a lot of people are 
watching the parade. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite park, so we're here quite often. This is Lombard's. This is one of the restaurants. If you would like to do the Mardi Gras float ride and dine experience, you can eat here at Lombard's and then you'll have a guaranteed spot to get on the Mardi Gras float. It's Lombard's, Finnegan's, NBC Grill, and Cowfish. Those are your four options if you do the float and dine experience. The weather today is beautiful out. It's probably about 70 right now. And it, ugh, it couldn't be better. It was probably about 80 midday, like the heat of the day. So really good. Oh, thank you so much, James. I know. Appreciate that. Okay, yeah, I, um, I do get a, a bunch of messages, so I'll try to catch up on yours. Thank you. Oh, there's that butterfly pea drink. That looks good. I just like the color, honestly. That drop side at Volcano Bay was insane. I will definitely be going to Epic Universe when it opens. Absolutely. All right, so we can make our way back over here. The parade will be coming around soon, which is fun. Oh, look. Oh, that's that green juice. Look at that. Oh, mm, yeah, I'm not sure about that. The purple one looks cuter. Yeah, I was really scared about that that drop slide, but I ended up, I did it. I was brave, even though I almost chickened out a bunch of times, <laughs> but I did it. I'll have, uh, I'll have Brian tell you about the drop slide at Volcano Bay today. Oh no, it's great. No. She loved it. No. She loved it, it was so much fun. We climb up the stairs and I mean, you were terrified. Terrified. It was awesome. Um, I mean, you got in the slide. I made her get in the slide before me. Um, they closed the door. She's like in there, like breathing, looking out the side of her <laughs> I'm look, eyes. I'm looking yeah. at the ride operator like, I hate yeah. my life. I don't want to do this. I was he like, I don't want to do this. the door and looks at me. He goes, this was your idea. Or was this your idea? Or <laughs> like something like that. I it was really fun. I was about to lose it. I was just like, all right, let me just do it. Because there's like three other, th two other slides, yeah. right? At the top. But so you went on the biggest, biggest yeah. in the world. Well, they wanted me to do the other two slides first. And I was like, you know what? If I'm climbing up, there's like 209 steps, right? Yep, 209 steps. If I'm steps. climbing up 209 <laughs> steps, I'm going to just do it because if I do the other ones, I'm not going to want to do it. She did great. Yay! <laughs> so, um, so I did it. And I, yeah, I, I held my breath the whole time and I, sh I had my eyes shut the whole entire time. So I was Which like, Which is not how you're supposed to ride it. I was like, when is this going to end? And like, and then I was underwater. I was like, I don't know where I am, but I it's did. It's a it. four second ride. It was no, like it felt no it felt deal. like four hours. <laughs> I, but I did it. I did it. And you got to watch to see my reaction because it's uh, it's a good one. All right, we're gonna head over to watch the uh, the parade now. Oh, happy early birthday, Patrick. Yeah. So I don't know if the Zooter Loopers weren't there, I probably would not have done that slide to be honest with you. But they were like, all right, come on, it's time now. I was like, fine. I think I would have regretted it if I didn't do it. By the way, if you're not, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, go, show, um, go check out my Instagram stories at the Crystal Palace underscore. And I did this crazy slide at Volcano Bay <laughs> today. So, yeah, I held my breath the whole time. And then I was just underwater. I was like, where am I? I didn't know if I should... <laughs> I didn't know what to do, honestly, but I did it. And you know what? That's what matters. I was brave. I faced my fears. Such a nice night out too. Look at that. Hey guys, sorry. My, my eye doctor called me and it messed up my stream. Sorry about that, y'all. Oh, my eye doctor. <laughs> It was, I guess my, uh, I guess my glasses are in. All right, let's go, guys. We got a good spot right here. All right, who's ready for the Mardi Gras parade? Uh, woo! I'm excited. Yeah, I I have such bad eyesight, really. 
Mardi Gras parade is coming. You guys excited? Yeah. I'm ready to catch some bees. Woo! Woo! Bees catching contest. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, you're cheating. Yeah, you I know. I already have one. Okay, who do you think is going to get the most bees? Me. It's going to be me. Who is going to get the most bees? I have bees? the most three. Let what me know in the no, chat right now. Whatever. I already have one. Okay. So, we'll see. She's cheating, guys. No. Already. It hasn't even started. Okay, but you, you have you might have an advantage because you're in the back. So we'll see. Like you know, like you can like move around. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but then yeah, I can just. But I have the yeah. gimbal, so maybe I can use it as like a. No, you can't use that. That's like a catching. Also yeah. cheating. Um, it's like a ringer. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much, Raj. Ball. Appreciate yeah. it. That's so nice. Thank you. I really appreciate your super chat. You're the best. Thank you. All right. Who is ready for the Mardi Gras parade? Put some Mardi Gras emojis in the chat. Put some purple hearts in the chat if you're excited and you're ready. Is it coming? Oh, yep. I see it. I see it. Last night, I was on the river boat. So it was the very first float. It was a lot of fun. Yes, purple hearts, purple hearts. Love the Mardi Gras emojis, everyone. This is my first time watching the parade this year, too, so this is going to be great. Has anyone been down here for Mardi Gras? Let me know in the chat if you've experienced Universal Mardi Gras before. Hope you guys enjoy the parade. I know I usually don't show like parades or anything, but I think the Mardi Gras parade is so fun because you can catch all the beads. So we're doing it tonight. We're doing it tonight. Should be coming any minute now. See it come around the turn. So it will come down this way and then it'll go right down there. See, they're letting people cross right now. Who's ready? Who's ready to catch some bees? Travel <laughs> studio. Hi! Travel studio warriors and head to the first. All right. We are so ready. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Woo! I'm excited. Who's ready? I'm so excited. Yay! Hi! Oh, they so don't have excited. any beats. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Let's go! This is so fun. I want to ride a motorcycle in the Mardi Gras parade. Woo! 
Mardi Gras Parade is so hype. They're not gonna do it. They high five someone else. He's not gonna reach you. Yeah, sure. Here we I'm go. The That's the fold I was on the riverboat. Oh, no. Time to catch those bees. Yes. Woo! Look at the skeleton guy. I love him. Hey! This parade is so fun! Woo! Slay! Slay! Ah! Happy Mardi Gras! Woo! I love him! Hey! They're so great. I want to be a performer. Next year, can I be a performer instead of throwing the beads? I'd love to do that. All right, bead time, everyone. Purple emojis in the chat. Woo! So I was on that top level last night. I feel like you were in a bad spot for beads. I know, they got to reach. I threw a lot over here last night. Oh, DB Witty, thank you so much for your super chat. You guys are so generous. Thank you. Woo! Bead time, bead time. Hey, this way, this way, this way. Ah! Hey, hey! Over here, over here. I got one! <laughs> Woo! Look at all the beads that don't make it over here. Did you get any? You got one. I got one. <laughs> Brian got one. I got none. We're tied. <laughs> yes! Slay! Slay! I love the stilt walkers. They're so cool. Imagine doing this all on stilts. Happy Mardi Gras! Thank you so much, DB Witty. Look at the back of the riverboat, so cool. Okay, here comes the next float. Oh, look at the purple like lights. It's still light out, the parade is so early. The sun sets about 6.30. All right, here we go, round two of the beads. Oh, you came here two years ago? Nice. I Hope you had fun. There we go. Woo! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, I smacked it's okay. his phone out of it's okay. <laughs> Woo! Here, Crystal, this is because I smacked your phone. Oh my god, it's head. okay, it's okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so fun. That one froze. I love this parade. I know, right? It is a nice truck. Oh, this, this float's fun. Okay, I still have caught zero. Yeah, I know. This is the this hardest is, corner. This is not a good beat spot, for sure. Oh, that, that, that path over here. Where? One. Okay. All right. Oh, Michelle, you're staying at Portofino? This is so nice. You're going to love it. I love it. Beads, please, beads, please, beads, please, beads, please. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Ah! <laughs> a little further, a little further. Ah! <laughs> There's 
so close yet so far. We can't we can't go past the line. Oh, she threw a bead. Fun. All right, if you guys want to catch beads, don't stand here. <laughs> but we're still having fun. Oh, Hannah, I have um, I have my gimbal. I'm going to try to catch him with my gimbal. Hey, Purple Queen. people on that float. They can't reach over here. You gotta be a professional like myself. Oh, Lewis, thank you so much, Lewis. Appreciate you. Thanks so much. Oh, I love them, hi. I suck at this. Oh my God, this lady's going over. I suck at this. I love the mushrooms. Ryan, go get that one. No, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break the rules. I might have to. All right, here comes another float. So far, no one has been able to chuck them far enough for us. Oh, the confetti went off. I can kind of see. All right, here we go. Oh, this floats pretty. Oh, there's a lot of people on this float. Over here, don't forget us in the corner. Don't forget us in the corner. I can't over here. Ah! There you go. You got that one. Ah! Yeah, they can't reach. They keep... Oh, I love them. Uh... Woo! Let's go. Hi. We can always get another one. She gave me another one. Hey, Monorail Molly, what's up? He got some from the ground. <laughs> You got ground beads though, you didn't catch them. Does that count? Yes, it counts. <laughs> oh, Raj, again, thank you so much. Thank you. It's very generous. You don't have to do that, but it is greatly appreciated. Oh, this one like spits fire or like smoke? That's cool. Spit smoke again. Woo! I like that floor. Oh! Oh! I almost caught it on my foot. Oh, I want to give my beads to this old lady next to me. Oh, I love the fire. I like seeing the floats in the daylight too, Penelope. I love the fire, people. This girl, this last answer girl. Yeah, she was the one on still set the zero. Oh, really? Woo! Hi, Matt from the UK. Yay! That's cool. They're fun. Look at everyone's having such a good time. Parade is awesome. I like this float. Fail me now, feet don't fail me now. Feet don't fail me now. Whoa. Whoa. Fire. Fire emojis in the chat for the fire float. I think it's almost over. 
We're nearing the end. There's 12 floats. I love how they make this turn. Oh, more confetti. Beads, 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 beads. Whoa! Fire. Oh, see that? Yeah, these guys have good throws. Let's go. They know how to throw. Woo, confetti. Yes. Oh, he has a turtle on his head. Yes, yes. Slide, slide. Woo, woo. Slide, 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 slide. Woo! Woo! He's fine. Hey, Shane. I love that float. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I like this float. I like this float. It's cool. Yeah. I like this Look float. at all like the it's smoke cool. and everything down the street. It has fish and stuff. So fun. Yeah, they do have really nice trucks pulling the floats. Alright, here we go. I have not caught one single bead. <laughs> So many beads, I don't need that. If you saw my Instagram stories, you know how many beads I caught last night. Way too many. Well, not caught, I had. Yes, Michelle. Woo! All right. Oh, we got to see the King Gator float. That floats so cool. What, this is a sun? They do it such an awesome job with these floats. Look at that, they're so impressive. Oh, Kevin, yay, six months. Beads, 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 woo, woo, woo. Oh, that was close. So close You gotta chuck them, people, you gotta chuck them. Oh, I got one! You got it, yeah. you got it. I caught one authentically, authentically. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Brian's getting his floor beads. Yeah. Woo! All right, now it's coming to an end. Wow, that one landed right in my hands. That was fire. Fire throw. Dude, Mackenzie coming in clutch. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have any of these. Ooh, this one's fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know if you are. I'm having fun. Oh, more confetti. So if you watch from New York, you get all the confetti. New York and Hollywood, they do confetti. Woo! Oh, Bourbon Street Jazz Cafe. This one's cool. Oh my God, look at that. I love this. Woo! Hey! Oh, God! Yeah. Hey.
finally! Sammo, you're going to be here in 12 days. Woo! In Ireland. Hope you have a great time. Thank you, Bob. Yes, Mardi Gras is so fun. Hi, hey, Chris. Here we go. All right, the Gator is the last float. There's 12 floats. Here we go, the gator. Woo! Here we go. This is the last the grand finale float. King Gator. This one is so cool. This, this float is in the parade every year. It's an icon. Yes, Gator! So fun. Gator emojis in the chat to celebrate the end of the parade. This was so fun. You get to ride the float too, like seriously. I love it. Woo! Of course, Andrew. I hope you enjoyed. Oh! Hey, hey, hey! Number two! Woo! Oh! So close, so close, so close! They're throwing them. All right, everyone. That's not it. Getting out of here. All right. I ducked out before everyone disperses. I don't do well in crowds, but that was so fun. Woo! That was a great time, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it too. We're gonna head into Diagon Alley now. That was so fun. I think Brian won. He, you were getting ground beats. You got none? You want some? There you go. I donated. I donated too. I caught, well, literally I caught one. I caught two. Okay. So I think- You caught none. I got none. So you won. But, <laughs> Ground beats count. We were in such a dead corner. Oh yeah, no, no one can, no one can read. No. That's the worst yeah. spot. It's all right, all right, I'm gonna have to die on Alley. Okay. okay. I thought you've done this parade before. Yeah, but I figured this spot was good for streaming so I can go into Diagon Alley. That makes sense. That makes sense. You know? All right. Becca, you can, uh, you can go back if you want to catch the parade. All right, everyone's going. Why is everyone going this way? No. The park closes in like 20 minutes. Woo! I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching along with me. It's fun. It's very fun. No one wants to leave. I I found this last night too. After the park closed, everyone was still like walking around. It's 6 p.m. You know, no one wants to go home when you pay for a park vacation. It closes so early, it's crazy. Tonight is six, tomorrow night I think is seven. Still super early. Oh, I tried Richter's for the first time the other day and I really liked it actually. The burger was solid, the fries are probably the best fries I've had. 
Yeah, it is. Uh, the uh, sun sets around 6.30. Um, and the park is closing at 6 tonight. I don't know why they close so early, honestly. In the summer, like if you're visiting in the summer, or you're visiting spring break, they will stay open later. Um, but I think just when the parks are low crowds, they just close. But tomorrow we'll be in Epcot, so that stays open super late. Yep, Potter time. It looks like a lot of people are going there too. It's almost closing time. You got to get your last ride in. You can get online for the rides up to, so the park closes at 6, up until 5.59. And no one wants to go home because it's so early. It's weird, like, when, when you're home and you're working and you realize, like, the park is closing. No, oh, it just feels weird. Tomorrow I will be making a vlog from Epcot Flower and Garden, so. Oh yeah, they definitely got an event going on tonight here. That's why it's closing at six. All right. Hogwarts Express is a 25 minute wait to go over to Islands of Adventure. Islands closes at seven, which is still so early. <laughs> but it is what it is. All right, everyone, welcome to Diagon Alley. We are headed inside. Oh, did I gotta show you this first. Did everyone see my KP quick today? I posted this morning on Instagram. The jacket potato price increased. I know, it's, it's crazy. So now the jacket potatoes are $11.49 compared to the $10.99 that they were. So if you want to get a jack of potato, you got to pay a little more now. But they're honestly still so worth it. Like, they're the best snack. You're always going to get a good potato, pretty much. And they're, the one with the shepherd's pie is probably my favorite because you get a full shepherd's pie on a potato. So you're, real, you're paying for a whole meal for $11.49 now. I think it's worth it. All right, so. Oh, here's the night bus. The conductor's out talking, hanging out with guests. All right, let's go into Diagon Alley. Hey, Nicole. Hopefully it's quiet. And there's not a lot of people in here. Pete, do you want to see anything in particular? Oh, this is under construction. Uh, okay, so this is a fountain that you can use your interactive wand and make it like spray but it looks like they're doing some work on it right now. Hey, Mrs. Wooderson, watching, making homemade pizzas and watching KP Live. How could a Tuesday evening get any better? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching. I know it's early in the night, but. Here's Sugar Plums. Let's go in. It looks pretty empty. I love checking out the sweet treats. <laughs> Go in the stores while we can, while they're still open. Oh, this is so good. The ginger newt cookie. I love this cookie. It's delicious. They have pretzel wands. It's like $7 for a chocolate covered pretzel. It's so expensive. Tried this, wasn't a big fan of it, but it's cute. The ginger newt cookie is definitely my favorite in here. They have some apples. And of course, fudge, the butterbeer fudge. Have you tried the butterbeer fudge before? What's everyone's favorite kind of butterbeer? Let me know in the chat. You can get some. Oh, these are fun. Oh, hey, Amy. The fizzing Whisbees. They're kind of like pop rocks in this chocolate here. It's a good time. Then they have fudge flies. Cute. Yes, Michelle, butterbeer ice cream too. These are super cute. Pumpkin juice sipper. $15. Look how cute it is. 
I love it. What else do they get? Oh, they have like a chocolate wand you could take home. This is just chocolate. Oh, Dr. Pepper Peeps, yum. I love my Dr. Pepper. Check out this really cool pin. I have this, of course. I had to buy it because it's so cool. All right, can you see it? Here we go. Chocolate frog, ready? Look at that. It's so cute. It's a pin. It's like a chocolate frog. It's adorable. It's 15 bucks. I think it was 12 when I got it. Might not have been. I don't know. But I think it's cute. So I got it. This is a puzzle. It's a chocolate frog puzzle. Isn't that cute? 508 pieces for 30 bucks. I like that. All right, the dragon's gonna go off in about three minutes, so. Oh, I'm stuck. So let's try to catch her, the dragon breathing fire. Oh yes, this is so nice and empty, folks. We love to see it. We love to see it. It's always nice and cool in here too. Shade. Very fun. All right, here we go. Wow, Gringotts is a 15 minute wait. That is nothing. That is nothing. All right, here we go, two minutes. Two minutes. Gringotts being 15 minutes is wild because it's never that low. Here's Ollivander's. I love when Diagon Alley is empty because you can really see in the windows too. Like look at those fun wands. I love it. So a tip for the interactive wands if you have one is to bring um, a, like one of those eraser pencil caps. Pencil like to put on your pencils. Those like eraser caps. So you don't break the sensor because see how that black thing that's your sensor and it might break you can um get them fixed if it does break but if you just want to avoid that grab the eraser it's it's pretty cool a little hack to save your interactive wands the ice cream shop is always a busy spot as well oh look at the light on in gringotts bank i don't think i've ever noticed that cute though last time i was here the dragon wasn't even spitting fire because of the wind so that happens sometimes if it's too windy he won't go off let's see let's get a good angle here i'm just gonna stand in the middle honestly we have a minute All right. Michelle said Gringotts is one of their favorites. Mine too. It's probably my favorite ride in Universal Studios Florida. It's so unique. It's so different. And I love it. I don't know. I think it's great. And it's also really good air conditioning in the, uh, in the summer. All right. Here he goes. Here he goes. So good, never gets old, honestly. Love it.
Here's the ice cream shop. This ice cream is so good. Oh wow, it's like empty. I had ice cream already today, to be honest, so I won't be getting any, but I never get to go in here because it's always super crowded, but not today. This is where you can get the butterbeer ice cream too. So it's really fun. It smells so good in here. All right. Oh, look at these guys. So cute. Butterbeer soft serve is probably like my favorite. So good. Hi! <laughs> good, how are you? I like this store. I'll show you inside, it's pretty fun. They have all the magical creatures in here. Look at this robe. I love it. <laughs> Fantastic beast, how cool. I don't know, I just love these critters, they're fun. And you hear the noises and you see all the up here, like. Yes, and it's so fun to enjoy when it's not so packed either. It's great. A bunch of things going on here. Oh, it's so cute. The snake. These are adorable. So cute. I don't know. They just have like pretty much stuffed. Oh my, the spider. I forgot its name. They just have like stuffed critters in here, but it's fun to look at. For sure. Fun. All right. Yeah. Let's go. And. Yeah. Cute store. We little like. The Fountain of Fair Fortune is a good tip if you're getting butterbeer here in Diagon Alley. So I feel like not a lot of people know you can get butterbeer in here. So the line for the butterbeer stand outside, it's like the hopping pot, I think it's called, always has a long line. But if you go into the Fountain of Fair Fortune, there's nobody in here. So it's a good tip if the hopping pot has a long line. That's what you can get in here. Butterbeer, frozen butterbeer, fishy green ale, gilly water, Wizard's Brew, Dragon Scale, Beer, and Fire Whiskey. Pretty cool. Oh well, look, they're casting some spells out here too. I love this one. Look at it. Oh. I don't I don't have a wand, unfortunately, so I can't make it make it go, but it's always a good one. Wow, it is so empty. This is so nice. 5.55. Five minutes until these stores are gonna close up. Oh no, I don't want it to close. The fire whiskey, no, I believe that is an alcoholic drink, to be honest. I've never had it, but I do think that's alcohol. All right, let's go into one last store. Before it closes, 15 minutes for Green Guts. Last chance to get on. I feel the AC from here, wow. Um, the money exchange is already closed. So let's hop in here. This is the exit gift shop of Green Guts. So they just have like, you're pretty much your basic Harry Potter merchant here, but it's really cool. Look up above here. I love it. The epic universe Harry Potter land is going to be insane. I'm so excited for it. The Ministry of Magic. I really can't wait. Oh look, they have like a medallion board. Like the epic universe medallions. I'll hopefully be getting some more of those soon to learn about the new lands of epic universe. Not sure Penelope, don't have any dinner plans. 
So last night, because the park's closed so early, City Walk was mobbed. We were thinking about going to NBC Grill, but because they were so crowded, we couldn't. We could like we had to have a reservation. We couldn't just walk up, which was fine. But it's good to know if the park's closed early. Make sure you have a dining reservation if you want to get something good to eat. There's a money exchange closed already. So Diagon Alley opened in about 2014 and you can only imagine how amazing the Ministry of Magic Land is going to be in Epic Universe because of how well they did in when they were creating this in 2013, 2014. With all their advancements they've made, like look how good Hagrid's is. That's going to be what's in Epic Universe and I'm so excited for it. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Well, it's, uh, this is like my favorite store. I don't know why. Globus Mundi Travel Agents. I don't know why, but I love it. They have like these cool shirts. I like them. The Hogsmeade and the Diagon Alley shirts the dragon this one's so cool look at this i love it reusable tote bags but yeah i don't know i like this and then here visit scotland new york city of magic paris london uganda scandinavia little london has a night bus it's so cute and then they have some rooms up here and all the clocks of all the different time zones. It's a cool store. Thanks so much, Michelle. They have these custom backpacks and everything like that. This is a nice hat. Visiting World of Harry Potter, $27. They have these luggage tags. Everyone let me know in the chat, what is your Hogwarts house if you know it? Gringotts, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. What is your house? And they have a night bus shirt, which is cute. This one's, I like. All destinations, nothing underwater. We got a Slytherin in the house. All right, it's 5.59. They have a lot of the Hogwarts Express merch in here too. All the ornaments. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, same Penelope. I'm a Hufflepuff too. The stocking's cute. Yes, Hufflepuff, represent. Look at this big Stein mug. Huh. I do have this coaster set. Hogwarts Railways. This is 21.95. So cute Hogwarts Railways merchandise in here. I like it. Patches. Oh, you can get. Oh, that's so cute. Pull back engine. Just pull back and watch it go. Sixteen ninety-five. Super cool. Man, he's a Gryffindor. Nice, nice. We have also these like this cool. This line is cool. This is a passport holder. Y'all, I'm gonna need my passport soon. So just, just a little, little sneak peek where we're going next. I'm gonna need my passport. Can't wait. Thanks, Shane, appreciate it. Have fun, safe travels. So yeah, the store's cool. All right, it is 6.01. The park is officially closed, boo. Some of the shops will do stay open though, just just because, I don't know, I don't really know why, but they do. <laughs> so this is a hopping pot I was telling you about that usually has a longer line, but it's, it's, it's pretty empty in here. So if this line is long, try the Fountain of Fair Fortune. It might be a little shorter.
Always a good time in Diagon Alley, especially when it's this empty. I <laughs> love it. Thanks, Lewis. You get some lawns here. Looks like they're closing up. Yep, they're closing up. Hot butter beer, amazing in chilly weather. Yes. Totally agree with that. Yeah, look at this. Yuck. Jellied eels. No thank you. No thank you. Oh no, eel pie. Not for me, not for me. TC was here from the UK two weeks ago. I'm not sure. He asked, why do why does Universal close so early? I don't know. I think there's an event going on tonight. That's why. Super cute. Sean likes his chambers, chamber of secrets. First one, books, always the books. Yep. I feel that. Look, it's so fun in here. I love this store. It has like the same merchandise all the time, but I just always, always have to go in. I know, right? Weasleys, wizards, wheezes. What is this? Rocket? What is this? I don't think I've seen this. Adult collectors. Okay. Cute. Ooh, you can get the Weasley wand collection for $120. Cool. Oh, look at this Weasley's Wizard Weezes shirt. If you want to rep it for $70, you can. Very cool. Some wizard cards. 17 bucks, playing cards. This is fun. This earphone. <laughs> I kind of need this because I can't hear. Yes, definitely, definitely go to Bush Gardens soon. Yeah, it's always a fun store. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right. So we're gonna head out of Diagon Alley. Hope you all enjoyed a little a little walk around here tonight. I had fun. We can take a peek in the leaky cauldron. The door's open, see? I love the leaky cauldron. It's so fun in here. And the food's good. I enjoy it. So hope you enjoyed this walk around Diagon Alley. It was fun. 
Oh no, Jessica, it's snowing where you are. Oh, I'm so sorry. The weather is amazing here. Hey, Robert. Thank you. So, of course, Amy. We're gonna make our way towards the front, so we won't end the stream just yet. We'll see what's going on out here. So yeah, the conductors, it's gone. Everything is closed, but it's so weird because it's so, it's like just daylight. It feels like still a lot of day left, you know? Oh, he's sleeping. And if you get close enough, you can hear him snoring. Such a beautiful night out though. It really is. Of course, Becca. Thanks for being here. Uh, look at it. Thank you, Marky. So pretty out tonight, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it lovely? Crusty land. I've, TC said, I visited SeaWorld, loved it 20 years ago. It was a waste of a day now. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't have a good time. Yes, the days are getting longer. That is so true. I know New York City is a few days away from having its first 7 p.m. sunset. So that is amazing news. Oh, you're coming in 32 days. You guys, it's so exciting. I feel like everyone is coming down so soon. That's so fun to hear hope you can watch my videos and they'll help you out I have a lot coming out too especially if you're going to Volcano Bay I'm excited to post a Volcano Bay video should be a fun one for sure the night bus they're not kicking people out just yet so we're gonna we're just gonna enjoy ourselves What should I get for dinner tonight, everyone? Help me decide. I wish I could get something from the Mardi Gras booths, but as we know, they're closed. So what shall I get to eat? Um, see my, I don't get a lot of color, you guys. So I'm excited that I got a little something from Volcano Bay today. What am I in the mood for? Okay, let me, guys, help me out here shrimp tacos nachos can't get anything in universal because it's closed i know no finnegan's is closed jack of potatoes are closed it's sad sad moment here so it has to be in city walk pretty much liberty ninja said donuts now that is a dinner that i can get behind <laughs> um panda panda express are you talking about tc yeah chinese food Maybe. Um, oh, Chris, thank you so much, Chris. Chris said, you are awesome. Missed you this past week and hope to meet you one day and have a picture. Thank you for the stream. Well, thank you for watching, Chris. I, I appreciate you so much. You guys are seriously, I just appreciate you being here and watching my videos and watching my streams. So thank you so much. And if you send me a super chat, thank you. You're amazing. I appreciate you more than you know. It's not cheap to go to theme parks and and vlog so <laughs> it's greatly appreciated all right let's see these dinner recommendations Ch i love to some chocolate emporium they might have a walk up we'll see oh i forgot to i totally forgot to mention that mel's is reopened we just went to eat there uh we got we just got the chicken fingers and a chocolate shake and fries uh, and it was good. It was the same, honestly, as before they closed. But it's it looks really nice in there. I'll post some pictures later. Margaritaville. I do like the chips and guac there, and uh, I do love the margaritas. I'm a I'm a tequila person if I had to pick. Um, Phil said buffalo chicken sushi from Cowfish. Sean said White Castle. Joey Palace was in the chat. He would tell you about White Castle. Davis says Chick-fil-A. Davis, I like your style. 
Moe's, RKD, hello, thank you. Um, Becca asked, what is the Margaritaville Jimmy Buffett's restaurant? Yes, yeah, so that's out in City Walk, Margaritaville. It's really fun. Coaster Mom said Big Fire, Big Alaska. If you guys haven't checked out my Big Fire review, definitely be sure to, that was an interesting dinner. Cowfish is good. Cowfish is a fan favorite for sure. Um, Barky asked, what land and ride are you most looking forward to when Epic Universe opens? I think Dark Universe. I'm so excited for all of them, but if I had to pick just one, Dark Universe for sure. Ohana's Adventure said Chick-fil-A, yes. Oh, Kevin, you're coming down March 9th. Very cool. If you, if you see me, definitely say hi. We're getting a Margaritaville Hotel in Kansas City. That's fun. That'll be good. Um, Epic Universe is not going to be walking distance. So you're going to have to take a bus from here. But it's not too far. Penelope said chips and guacamole. I had tacos today. But no chips and guac. Oh, so you guys, I'll tell you like a little sneak peek of the Volcano Bay video. The food at Volcano Bay, surprisingly, well, not really surprisingly, Universal is pretty good food. But like for a water park, Crystal Palace approved. Look, it's such a nice night. I don't want to leave. Thanks for just chilling, having a chill night with me here at Universal, you guys. It's a lot of fun. And I hope you're enjoying it. Epic Universe, I know, everyone is so excited. I cannot wait. 2025 is gonna be here before we know it. Queen Mother is making shrimp and with garlic, nice. That sounds really good right now. Look how nice the night it is. I'm not even cold at all. I could stay out here for a long time. I know, right? So if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask away while we're just chilling here. Kind of just hanging out before they kick us out. Enjoying this nice weather. Oh, so nice to be outside. TC said, I walked to, oh wow, you walked from Endless Summer to SeaWorld? It was a bit of a trek in the Florida sun, but manageable. Is it going to be further than that? No, I think it's going to be closer to Endless Summer, at least. I think Universe is like, it's like City Walk, Endless Summer, Epic. So Epi uh, Endless Summer is going to be closer to Epic Universe, which is kind of cool. Hello, Pierre. Uh, so, I don't think they can uh, extend the Hogwarts Express Epic Universe, Eric, because it's a little too far, but that would be really cool if they did. So, Epic Universe is going to have Dark Universe, which is Universal Monster themed. They're going to have the Harry Potter Ministry of Magic. They're going to have How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke. Celestial Park is like going to be the main hub area. Oh, I use my GoPro pretty often, Sean. Um, I actually used it on the Mardi Gras last night. It's definitely Crystal Palace approved. I have the GoPro Hero 10. Oh, look at the ducks. Woo! Woo! Where are they going? Where are you guys going? I definitely... Okay, so we didn't settle on what I'm getting for dinner. Because I could definitely use something. I haven't eaten since... I got tacos for lunch. All right. Oh, Ohana Travel, that's so funny. I just said before, I'm looking into getting that because for my trip in May, um, I think I might be good for that. I'm excited to share more about that soon. Okay, Penelope, thank you. Um, I know Zoomers. Uh, I should. Uh, 
All right, it's starting to empty out, unfortunately. But I do like how it's light out. Can we talk about how my eye doctor called me while I was streaming and my stream froze? I guess that means my glasses are in. <laughs> oh, Penelope, maybe if they have a walk up because uh, I don't have reservations. All right, so look at this bar. What is this event going on tonight? Definitely, definitely corporate. Cool. Can I have one? Thank you. Oh, they got to pay for it, though. Oh, look at that backpack. Super cool. Super cool. All right. Oh, yeah. So if a Mardi Gras food booth was open right now, I would get... I wanted to get that um, chicken schnitzel from Germany. Yes, Manny, I do wear contacts. Pretty much all the time. Bread box is a good one. That's a good one. Sure. Fast and oh wait, they took away some of the cars. I think there used to be three or four. No, there's only two. I wonder why. Fast and Furious. This is the end of the ride. Has anyone ever done this pearl jewelry thing? I used to do it when I was a kid in Disney Springs. Well, back then it was downtown Disney. I would love to go to the theme parks in Europe. Like, that would be a dream of mine. Would definitely love that. You guys are enjoying this nighttime hangout at Universal with me. The Mardi Gras parade was so fun. I'm sad it's going to be over soon. April. Well, I guess it's not really soon. Still got all the March. March is gonna be a long month. But all fun things ahead. I love when these lights come on. Wow, look at that sky. That's amazing. TC said, how does Universal Orlando stack up against Cali anymore? Um, California is a lot smaller, but I love it. Um, Universal Hollywood has like a special place in my heart. I don't know. It's just it's really fun. It's it's so much smaller, but it's such a great time. I won't. I don't think I'm gonna be here tomorrow. Maybe in the morning for a little bit. Oh look, here's this event going on. It's so weird. They're not kicking anybody out, but I feel like all the stuff. All the stores are closed. What was I saying before? Oh, Universal Hollywood. Yeah, if you want to check out any of my Universal Hollywood videos, I was just there this past August. So we had such a fun trip. This looks like a school or something, actually. Oh, remember we saw that big group before? That's probably what this is. The Cinematic Celebration or whatever the nighttime show is going to be called will hopefully return soon they did add more water back so that's a good sign you can see them working a little bit still but hopefully by the summer they'll have a nighttime show the nighttime show over in islands of adventure is also closed still they have not reopened the nighttime light show at hogwarts castle So hopefully they'll come back before the summer so we can have some nighttime show fun. So yeah. They're playing music over there. It looks fun, whatever it is. Oh, thanks so much for watching from the UK. I love the UK. Appreciate it. I'm not sure, Marky. I wish. That's a dream. The Beat Builders have their little Mardi Gras decorations on. How fun is that? Love it. I love the Beat Builders show. It's always a fun time. 
Yes, so Universal is building a kid park in Texas. And when that opens, I'll definitely go because I've been wanting to go to Texas so badly. Look at this sky. Wow, I gotta take a picture of this. Look at that. And it's empty, it looks so pretty. I'm gonna take a picture of this Bloody Mary booth before people come. Ah. Perfect. Pictures for Theme Park Today, everyone. ThemeParkToday.com. Check us out. I write a bunch of articles. It's fun. Always a good time. Hi, Pickles. Oh, I'll show you what I got from this booth. This is the Italy Mardi Gras booth. Oh, so they're telling people like they can't go down towards Diagon Alley. You see they're like cleaning up the confetti from the parade. So I got this is the Aperol Spritz Sorbet and it was delicious. Aperol with blood orange sorbet. So like Prosecco, the Aperol, of course. And it was really good. It, it's at the uh, little window here at Louis. Thanks for linking Theme Park Today, Zoomers. Appreciate it. So yeah, I'd like to try more of the Mardi Gras food. Um, I did try a few things already. Look at them cleaning up the confetti. Ugh, that stinks. But. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this event. This is crazy. What's going on here? Nice. Wow, they have a bunch of booths set up around here. Love that. I want to go. I want to go to the event, whatever it is. The Palace Arcade. So if you watched my recent video, Universal, um, the cheerleaders are coming to Universal video. This is where they actually filmed Bring It On In It To Win It. So be sure to check out that video. We do uh, show you some filming locations from that movie and talk about all the cheerleading competitions that are coming to Universal very soon. Look at this event. What? Looks so fun. The mummy looks so empty. It's closed. It's so nice seeing the parks empty like this. Look at these great pictures. I'm gonna take videos, you guys. So bear with me. because you never get no crowds like this. So I gotta take advantage of it while I can. It's such a nice night too. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. Does anyone have any fun plans for the weekend? We're always, we're always looking towards the weekend, you know? This weekend, I'm so excited. Like I said, Joey Palace has his test, but then we're gonna have a really fun night um, in Manhattan. We're going to see a comedy show, so I can't wait for that. It's gonna be very fun. Here's the Columbia booth. I'll show you what I tried from here. I got the arepa, traditional sweet corn cake filled with cheese and griddled with honey butter. It was actually delicious. I could go for one right now, to be honest with you. It was so good. Oh, look at these kids playing in the confetti. 
The Zooter Loopers are still here hanging out. I feel bad, you guys. Like, you can. There's a lot of traffic on the freeway. All right, I get it. I get it. No, <laughs> Run over to Velocicoaster, you know what? But well, you never get to see the park this empty. No, it's so nice, right? Taking some pictures and hanging out. I love it. I just kind of want to find out who is uh, throwing the party. I know, yeah. We were just talking about that on the stream. It looks so fun. They got all these food booths set up, right? Look, Probably some corporate um, event. I don't know. Nick! Nick is here, everyone, from Theme Park Today! Zoomers linked Theme Park Today before, so be sure to go check out our website and Instagram, of course. Look at all these fun Mardi Gras. Nick, I'm getting some great blog pictures right now because the park is so empty. Said it. Mardi Gras, the parade was so fun. You guys, I totally just noticed they painted that. Like, I just noticed it. What? When did they do that? And they put some projections on here for Mardi Gras too. You can't really see because it's still light out. But it's very fun. Thanks for joining everyone. Appreciate you being here. Maybe we can see some more Mardi Gras decorations over here. But I don't like how they put them in the smoking section. This is the smoking area. So it's kind of like, oh, you're coming in April. Awesome. Yes, if you see me, definitely don't be afraid to say hi. I would love that. And they have like really cute decorations over here. I love it. Mardi Gras. Always fun nighttime strolling in the park. Yep, we're still live. We're closing down the park. Well, it's closed. Right, what time is it? It is 6.29, so it closed 29 minutes ago. Kurt, hello. We got the whole theme park today squad here. Woo! <laughs> What's up? The park's closed, so we're just walking around, hanging out, taking some pics. You know. The popcorn stand is still open, I think. Wow, look at the sky. My favorite memory today is almost drowning on the slides at Volcano Bay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hi! I love it, love it. <laughs> um, but. No, Volcano Bay was fun. Yeah, you know, it kind of felt like Water World on the slides. That's what I felt like at Waterworld and Universal Hollywood. What would be your number one tip for a family going in July? Um, definitely spend as much time in the parks just enjoying like we're doing kind of right now. I know it's tempting to run from ride to ride. So if you can spend more days here and just really take your time and enjoy, relax and just hang out, I would highly recommend doing that because there's a lot to take in enjoy the view just like we're doing right now look at this so pretty rip ride anyone a fan of rip ride rocket minion land i think we're pretty much closing down the parks you guys yes yeah, so mr jack i went to mel's before um it was pretty good. It, it tasted very similar to what it was before. My favorite quick service spot in Universal Studios is definitely the Minion Cafe or Cafe La Bamba. They're both delicious. So I would definitely go to those two over Mel's still, but Mel's is great. It's so cute in there. Right? It's so cute. 
the Minion Cafe. Freeze ray. Look at the freeze ray pops. You could see it when it's lit up at night. We'll wait for it. See. It like outlines. I don't know if you were able to see it, but I think it's super cute. Wait, I want to grab a picture of Minion Cafe while it's empty. Yeah, it's not crowded at all. Um, it was last week was a lot of schools were off for February break. So I'm sure it was pretty crowded for that. Minion Cafe is so good. I love the minion tots in there, they're delicious. <laughs> Look at the pretty sky. Such a nice night. Yes, you have to come try the tots. <laughs> Kurt, I can't. Theme park today, we uh, we have to get some trips in the works, so be sure to stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun year. A lot of fun stuff <coughs> happening. Oh. Freeze Ray Pops is closed. Bake My Day is closed. We're loitering here, but it's all right. Look how pretty Bake My Day looks with the pink sky. Yeah, the Minions look so great, and I think they'll have like a version of the Monsters Cafe over in Epic Universe when it opens. Bake My Day looks so cute lit up. It's adorable, Nick. You would love like this Bake My Day stuff. It's super cute in there. Kurt, stop it, no. Kurt said that looks like the bakery from Bridesmaids. Now I won't be able to unsee it. You're so right. What was it called, like Annie's? Um, Oh my God, that's funny. Yes, Zoomer is linked again, Theme Park Today, I appreciate you. ThemeParkToday.com. These are adorable. Cake Baby, yes! How could I forget Cake Baby? <laughs> and, and, the, and the cop goes, oh, you're Cake Baby, right? So good, never gets old. Never gets old. One last view of Minion Land. So pretty. Yes, Bridesmaids is my favorite movie. It's so good. It is the best movie, Penelope. I totally agree with you. Oh, you did, Ohana? That's so funny. All right, everyone, I think this might be a good place to say our goodbyes. So I appreciate you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. We watched the Mardi Gras parade, had some fun. Yeah, the park is closed, so we're kind of like going to be the last people out here. But thank you all so much for watching and joining the stream and chatting with me. I know we couldn't really do much because the park's closed so early, but I appreciate you hanging out. Um, I had fun and as always chatting with you guys hanging out be sure to stay tuned we have a lot of fun videos coming out on the Crystal Palace Volcano Bay I'll have a flower and garden video out on Thursday so be sure to stay tuned Thursday morning flower and garden festival video will be out um, we'll have some content on theme park today as well on Instagram and of course on our website so thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. It's been a blast. And I will see you on Thursday for the Flower and Garden video. Thank you guys so much. And uh, from Universal Studios Florida, good night. And I will see you very, very soon. Peace.